Eminem, Jay, Drake, the best in the business. Put us on the same song. Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover from T.I. who sent word to his critics in a recent IG video as he looks to be tired of rap fans who refuse to put him in the category of rappers like Jay, Nas, Eminem and more. And social media has reacted since, which we'll explore in a bit. We also have what looks to be one of the biggest shockers of the 2020s so far. And if you're an Eminem fan, well, this should be an interesting ride based on reactions so far, including one from Ghana. And before we dive into the details, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So it all started when Billboard reported the unexpected, and it started pouring in. Ghana really beat the weekend. No bundles, gonna be a big reality check. And the weekend and his fans are getting it. And Ghana has since reacted, as seen in this clip. Is that up on the internet, man? Yes. Say it. It's on what? billboard. It's on billboard. Yeah. Come on, man. They can't me, n Nobody. Not this we on next week. Hey, hey. Go on the internet right now. Tell everybody who got the number one album in the world right now. You did? Please. And this ain't the first one. This is more like the third one, but this the big one. <laughs> <laughs> this the big B. It's certainly a huge win for Ghana, but some said it straight, artists need to learn charts loudly crying face emoji. Too many of them don't know what their chart achievement means and end up looking dumb. He got the number one album in America, not the world, the United States to be precise. As for instance, in the United Kingdom, Weekend occupied the number one spot, but Ghana also debuted strong at number four. So yeah, we still need to wait for more numbers to know who had the number one in the world overall. Weekend should take the win there, as a 2k difference in the United States wouldn't be enough to cover the deficit outside the United States. The UK alone has already absorbed the 2k difference with change to spare, and some believe the better album won but had more to add. Ghana's album was better except y'all wanna lie to yourselves, plus can someone tell Americans USA don't represent the whole world, but we could have another Tyler vs Doja Cat on our hands according to some. I think Ghana wins the battle, but Abel will win the war, Dawn FM will age better, nice projects by both. Well, we'll see if this goes the way Tyler vs Doja Cat went, where her album completely demolished Tyler's after week 1, still in the top 10 right now as we speak. All in all, The Weeknd clearly did not play to his strengths, tried the Eminem approach and chose to release without physical copies, and that backfired. For some context, After Hours did 444,000 equivalent units first week, of which over half at 275,000 were pure sales. That included bundles, but still he's been able to move 68,000 pure sales without bundles before I believe. In comparison to Ghana's last drop, it did 111,000 equivalent units of which 4,000 were pure sales. So this news is a big win for Ghana, as it looks like Weekend underestimated the competition just like music fans did. Moving on, T.I. looks to be tired of fans who don't put him in the category of go tier rappers like Jay, Eminem, Nas, Wayne and others. He shared this. What I said was can't nobody f with me and they can't. And then somebody said, yeah, it's gonna take Jay-Z or Nas. And I said, yes, go get Jay, go get Nas. You know, Wayne, go get Kanye. Go. Those are the caliber of artists y'all need to be mentioning my name in my catalog and my legacy with, you dig? But make no mistake, I like me against anybody. Make no mistake, I like me against anybody. Oh, and he had more names to drop for those who doubt him. Put us in the goddamn booth together. Put us in the, in the studio together to make a song. Put us in the studio together to make a song. Let's see, goddamn, you gonna have a hard time telling who goddamn came out on top. I guarantee you, mother. I don't give a f who it is. Eminem, Jay, Drake, the best in the business. Put us on the same song. Put us in the studio doing the same song at the same mother time. And just, just shit, and watch what happened. Just watch. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And that's undeniable. You know, it, it just, it kind of perturbs me when, you know, 
put me in a class or category that I just don't belong. On the reports of this live stream, some believe Ludacris will destroy T.I. Sorry, brah, we love your music, but you're not on Jay, Wayne, and Kanye level. No disrespect, just truth. And some expanded, bro said yeah and tune, like they wasn't on Swagger Like Us and killed his verse. But on the contrary, some believe he had the best verse or a close second. Stop hating. Since he asked that they should put them in the studio and see what happens, the user expands, I thought the deal song that's all she wrote and Eminem ate him up in my opinion, to which another added, also touched down both great songs but yeah, M went harder on both. So basically from what I've gathered so far, on the songs he's had with the rappers he name dropped, many believe he's been edged out by these rappers already, although some believe he held his own. You guys are over exaggerating saying Tip got 8 on all she wrote he actually held his own, and he even held his own against Jay, Wayne, and Kanye as well. I'm not saying he can own either of them, but he definitely is on their level. Don't count out my boy like that. But what do you guys think? Does his catalog match up? And is he also on that level lyrically? Some are certainly surprised by T.I.'s comments. Always appreciate the warrior mentality of an MC, but T.I. isn't in that category of rappers. M and J Award Smith is more a southern club artist, which is cool. What got him one in the battle, folks, all of a sudden? LOL. Well, share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.